It's an airline chicken. I'm in love with it now. Mesquite. That's good right there. This was a nice cook. Hello friends, welcome back. Thank you for tuning again. Another episode of the Backyard Warrior. This is an airline chicken. So this came already fabricated. I didn't do anything to it. I bought it like this. And uh, I'm gonna season this with my favorite rub, chili lime. I used this a couple times and I'm in love with it now. For a binder, I'm using some olive oil spray. This already dry brine overnight with no salt. Just let it air dry so the skin gets a little bit uh, crispy when we cook it. So I didn't add anything to it since this one has salt already. So I don't want to over salt this chicken. For now, we're just going to spray olive oil on this chicken. And then flip and spray the other side. So, airline chicken is pretty much just a fancy name for a chicken breast with a bone in. Nothing crazy here. This is good. Now onto the rub. Like I said, this chili lime is incredibly flavorful you know a good mix of lime peppers spices herbs you can be the the smell on it is incredible as well And it goes well on poultry it gives a nice color when the chicken is cooked I believe there's some paprika in there beside those uh, red pepper flakes so this side is good chicken is ready in addition to a dry brine overnight I'm gonna leave it in the fridge for a few hours so for this cook I'm burning some mesquite burns hot this is what I'm burning right here use this paper to start the fire So this chimney will take probably 20 minutes to get ready. So my grill is up to camp. Now we're gonna place this chicken on the indirect zone. Then once it comes up to temp, we're gonna sear it on the hot coals. We're gonna let this cook for 30 minutes. Once it comes up to temp, we're gonna sear it on these hot coals. So we do an indirect cook on this airline chicken. So 30 minutes in, chicken looking good. We're at 140, the one that's closest to the fire, 150. The one in the back at 140 as well, so even. Now we're gonna start searing this chicken on the hot coals start from the back here give him a nice sear finish cooking as well
that's good right there So, my chicken is done. Nice color to it. Very happy with it. That chili lime did a great job. Perfect. All right, moment of truth. This is our chicken, all finished. It took around an hour to cook, and let's dig into it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like it. Chicken is moist. A little bit of smokiness from that hickory chunk I put in there. Overall, very good. a little bit crispy not too much but just enough overall chicken is good packed with flavor chili lime is great a lot of uh, hints of lime on it citrus great with chicken This was a nice cook. So, usually chicken breast gets dried out easily. I was watching this closely. Once it hit 140 on the indirect side, I seared it on the hot coals. By the time I finished searing it, it went up to 160, which is perfect for a chicken breast. And it stayed moist and juicy. A lot of flavors on it. This was good. The bone, I don't think it adds anything to this chicken. It's just for presentation. This could be any boneless chicken breast cook. But uh, all in all, this is good. Happy with it. Nice cook. Something different. Save with this one. Again, if you like this content, please share, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. It helps a great deal. Thank you for your support. Until the next one, stay safe and bye-bye.